Well, welcome uh, to another Tech Time. Time sure flies fast this year. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we've got some interesting things to talk to you about today and uh, see if we can make your life a little bit easier. So if you got any questions or discussions or send us an email, um, link is there to sign up for future Tech Times as well or Intertech trainings. I am Jim Strandland, part of the technical services team and uh, some phone numbers there for our tech guys in your service tech people. If you need some instructions or help, give us a shout. Um, we're sponsored by Intertech University. Uh, you can go to intertechuniversity.com or you can see links to all our trainings um, on our websites. Just uh, take a look at them and, uh, and uh, do all uh, your research and see the good things that we have put on. And uh, here's the rest of our tech services members. Put a face to the names if you call in. And our, don't forget our customer service technician. Can be, We are 618-664-5860. Give us a call if you need. Um, are you uh, dragging this bad boy, a big cart around um, to change out a regular circulator pump? I know a lot of us uh, do. That's what we have going up stairs or downstairs is kind of a pain and usually takes a couple of people to get it down and up safely. So I'm going to try to show something today that may be a little bit easier uh, for your technicians in the field. Um, so you come upon a flow center that say has a bad pump. Uh, the geoflow pump on the one on the right here is, is bad in this particular case. So uh, one thing you need to do obviously is to close off and isolate uh, the flow center, so we're not uh, draining everything out of the whole loop field. So we're going to look at that valve, and sometimes it's hard to see the little marks, but hey, a magic marker goes wonderful to show you which direction the little um, marks are. So keep that in mind, magic markers are great. Uh, you're gonna need some tools, obviously, so a uh, ratchet wrench and extensions, depending on your um, the length you need, are somewhat required to be able to adjust and shut off those valves. Uh, you got your valves already closed off and uh, you need to remove that pump. It does take metric Allen wrench wrenches. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, always drain a little bit off if you got the proper ports or access ports to drain some of the water out so it doesn't spray on you when you take the pump off. Uh, replacing the pump and uh, and you're going to remove those uh, top hand tighten caps, and that's going to expose you to uh, these plugs. So these plugs are going to be uh, removed from the flow center, and the valves are shut off. So now you're isolating the loop field from the heat pump, so it makes it easy just to purge the heat pump itself. So. Intertech carries these adapters and they're made for garden hose connections. So now instead of the big purge part, purge cart, you can actually use a small circulator uh, that you would might use for purging out uh, radiant floor zones or hydronic zones or uh, even acid cleaning uh, boilers, et cetera. I got the part number coming here for you. Um, this is a good number to um, write down you're gonna get out of this kit, two of these adapters that uh, are a double O-ring, I should say a single O-ring fitting, go in the double O-ring connector port and hand tighten them. And uh, you'll be able to connect up uh, two garden hoses to these and do um, your purging. So again, part numbers, A, G, A, F, G, H. It comes in a set of two, uh, just order one set. And for every one of your technicians, it'll make your life a little bit faster and easier. Um, so now you can hook up two separate garden hoses, okay? Get that done. And then you wanna connect it up to a small pump uh, so you can purge the air out of it after you've uh, replaced that circulator pump. So it uh, doesn't have to be a, a real big pump, but it can be uh, something half horse, something in that neighborhood works really, really well. Um, it's a lot easier than lugging your big purple carts around, the big purge carts around. Um, and then again, if you don't have a circulator, small circulator pump, you can actually use just uh, straight well water. Purge it with well water uh, from garden hose back in and out. As long as your antifreeze is up to snuff, 
and you don't have to worry about potential freezing and losing a little bit of antifreeze in the unit. I'm always encouraged to double check and see what your strength is anytime you take apart um, loop field system or purging a pump. Double check your antifreeze and make sure you're in good shape. Um, when you get done, obviously uh, purge it, close the valves off, remove the products, uh, adapters, the garden hoses, and away you go. And you'll find that this uh, makes it simpler for your guys. You can send one guy out to do the work instead of having two guys to get that purge cart down into a basement or out of a truck, et cetera. Um, one more thing for you to look at, if your flow center looks like this, when you pull it apart, the pump's out, you got bigger problems that you need to address. And that's when you start looking for um, other solutions to take care of these. So um, with that, that's kind of uh, showing you some bacteria growth, some rust growth, some products, bad water, uh, chemicals we have in the Furnox product line are wonderful to help take care of this stuff. And uh, that's what I got for you guys today. I appreciate you attending and look forward to talking to you again next week, next month at another Tech Time. Thank you.